Well, when we finished uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow some years ago, uh, we spent some days looking at what we had done well, what we had done badly. We uh, wanted to see what the criticism was. Uh, uh, of course, we can't please everyone, and if you, you know, in, 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 if you want to please everyone, you know, you're going to have a very bad time. So we stayed with the positive part. The game was liked, and uh, so we were thinking of a possible continuation. Uh, but you know uh, that sales can be really uh, a very complex affair. So we wanted to see how the game was working to see if we could have a sequel. So the game sold really well, and uh, we did not pay much attention to uh, some of the charts. But so because it worked very well, we it enabled us to make a sequel with the idea we had from the start, a simple idea. So. Uh, what? How did we approach Castlevania? It's about Dracula. There's no secret. Uh, Dracula, you know, um, for my taste, is too flat a uh, character. But he appeared at the end of the game, and then you know he resurrected after a hundred years. But so we found it interesting to consider a sequel. Uh, like the story of a person who could be called Gabriel Belmont and the story of a person from darkness to light. So, uh, as you know, we are talking about light and shadow. I think that there was a brand uh, with that name. So then we decided on the term Lords of Shadow. So we are going to carry on, you know. Uh, you know, our titles are very long. Now we have Mirror uh, of Fate. So this was, uh, we learned a lot of things from this very intense experience. And so I've come here today to show you the uh, demo of Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. You, you know that uh, you, all of you who are here from the old continent, you are going to be the first to see it. So PlayStation has graciously given us some uh, consoles. So you, there is the, uh, just outside in the common in the hall, uh, just outside the press area. You can try this demo. So. Let's see the game. Cross your fingers, please. Cross your fingers. Let's hope it goes smoothly. And let's see what this is all about. The quality is not going to be ideal because there's too much light, too much light in this room. But they, they tell me that they can't, that's not good to switch it off completely. So here we go. I've been told to stand here, otherwise you're going to see me all across the screen. Okay. As I said, we wanted this to be like a trilogy of Dracula, and what better way to start than by presenting, introducing the character. So this, in this game, uh, will be very organic and integral. Look at this presentation. This is not, this is in real time. It's not a video. You see the character as you're going to see it, him in the game. And we've done this throughout the game. So we have tried to make the design and everything that is visually presented uh, uh, appear organic that belongs to this world of games. So let's take a look at it. So this is uh, what I was saying. You're not going to see this really well because there's too much light. But anyway, you'll get an idea. Okay. 
So we have completely changed the graphic uh, engine of the game. One of the things that was positive uh, was that the frame rate was n not very constant. And uh, a lot of games have this, this problem, not just lots of shadow. It's very easy to have a good graphic uh, game. We've tried it. And uh, this time, uh, you mustn't worry, because the game is clearly and appreciably at a frame rate which is much higher than the first one. Okay, so all those of you who played uh, Lords of Shadow 1, you know that the emphasis is on a setting, a setup which was going to help us. So we were helped by a fixed camera, which could be the second of the biggest criticisms we received. So uh, uh, the fi uh, with respect to the fixed, uh, with the fixed camera, you know, it, that could be good for some games, but not for others. But it just depends on what you want to achieve. Now, in Lords of Shadow 1, we wanted to show the trip, the voyage of Gabriel Belmont, which started with the light and ended with darkness. So it was very important for the game world to be attractive and as charismatic as possible. So one of the ways of achieving this was to ensure that what we are seeing is the most spectacular possible. It's not realistic to uh, consider that you can uh, be modeling the scenario 360 degrees. So that was one of the reasons why we decided on a fixed camera. And uh, so let me move, because this is a demo, OK? <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to have problems. So, another reason why there was a fixed camera was because of the combats. We wanted the uh, experience of combats. Hack and slash are very comfortable to play with one stick, but with two sticks, it's kind of more complex. Uh, the, so, we decided to go uh, uh, for two reasons, because each uh, on its own is not sufficient, but both together we decided would be the best way of doing it. Now, here there's a change. So, here you will immediately see that I have perfect control of the camera. 360 degrees around the character. And that's wonderful for the player who likes to explore. And that's the key word, explore. So in the first game, this component of exploring was a deliberate decision. You cannot have a game with a fixed camera and focus on exploring. We knew that. So that's why we created the levels it had and we structured the game that way because we uh, so most of the levels was uh, were created like this so in this game we decided from the from the start, we said we want to show Dracula in his atmosphere, the castle. And when you have Dracula and the castle, we decided to take a step into uh, a leap into the abyss at, at all levels. We wanted to 
uh, uh, remove resources that you can't see, especially with respect to combat. So we said, let's going to have a game with a free camera. So as you can see, those of you, uh, you know, the camera shows you the character in his glory, bigger than in Lords of Shadow one, where he was pretty far away. But now the player is going to decide where he goes, where the character goes. Now, this was one of the most important decisions that will affect the entire game experience. There is a demo outside. I'll go and try it out. So let's do the tutorial. Let's carry on with this tutorial. 